The crypto revolution is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin price is going up. New projects are coming out every day. DeFi is becoming a absolute beast. And I don't mean DeFi like just the gains people are making, doing all this weird token for farming stuff and all that. I'm talking about technology improvements, use cases. Things are happening in this space that are absolutely extraordinary. I think Satoshi, when he first created Bitcoin, could have never imagined exactly how technology would expand on blockchain. I mean, it's truly unbelievable. Today, I'm going to give you an update. I apologize. I told you on my last stream I would do some live streams over the weekend, going to cap with the family. But to be very honest with you, I ended up making family a much higher priority, had some great time with the kids and the wife, and it was we had a phenomenal camping trip. And I never did do a live stream, even though I told my family, hey, just know I'm going to plan to do a couple of live streams. I pre-recorded a couple of videos so they would kind of go out and stick to my schedule as best as I could, but I never got to that live stream, so I apologize. But I figured I would kick off today. I've got another video coming out later tonight, but I figured I would come back and just kick off kind of a video on what's been going on, what I'm doing right now in the crypto space, or at least part of it. Uh, I don't have all of it I'm covering. I'm just going to cover some of the main projects that I've been talking about on my channel and then kind of give you a couple of updates as well on those projects and, and what I know about them, where they're going and where they're headed. So we are going to get started. By the way, before we do, if you love cryptocurrency, you believe cryptocurrency is the way of the future, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon specifically if you love the idea of being able to pa earn a passive cryptocurrency income stream because I love passive cryptocurrency income. In fact, if you want to learn how you can create a passive income stream without or multiple passive income streams up to five without any risk or without even having to spend money to do it, go down, subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter. You don't want to miss out on that. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Did you hit the subscribe button already? How about the like button? Make certain that you hit that like button. All right, let's get started. So many of you know that I've been in the DeFi staking platform, DSP token. I, I made several videos about this. I've really uh, enjoyed this platform overall that it did a tremendous snafu in the beginning. Originally, this was a clone from T2X and of course, GXY even clone DFI or, or DFI, D DeFi DSP because it looks identical to it basically. But let's get started because there's been some very interesting developments uh, the auction lobbies have picked up quite a bit look at this 81 yesterday to 126,000 today I never wanted to see them get this low um, and I think this is related to some announcements that's come out however even GXY is showing a bit of a bump today not not sure what that's all about T2X, look at this, 842, I'm not in T2X, I'm not in T2X now, I was in T2X the first 30 days, did a quick 10X on T2X, can you say that fast, 10X on T2X, and got out of it, basically turned 1,000 Tron into 10,000 Tron and got out, and that's, you know, round numbers there, but that's basically what happened, and I had, had no idea this would continue going on 114 days later, and here we go, and they're picking up steam again, I think this is interesting, let's look at this uh, dividends chart. You know, when I made this video the last time, it's it was very easy to to kind of predict the future and think, hey, this thing's going to die if you just look at the chart because it just looks like it's going down lower, lower, and lower. We'll wait for that to come up. But while we do that, oh, here we go. So, you see, when I made my last video before the weekend, we were over here. And it's easy just if you, if you couldn't, if you didn't, if you could block all this off right here and just realize the line's going down, it's real easy to predict it's dead. It's done. It would have been really easy to do that over here as well, probably, if you cut all this off and all you saw was this chart back. But this is crypto. Things are unpredictable in crypto. This is awesome to see for the, the longevity of these platforms for sure. So I've got a lot of videos about DXY, how they work, what you need to understand about going into the platform, etc. But as long as, you know, as long as there's new trying to coming in people are excited about the project this is going to be a good thing overall so why why is new what's breathing life in these platforms well the developers are attempting to create some use cases now gxy i don't really know what that developer is doing over there and that project basically is, is dying essentially but the, there's a community trying to bring it back to life t2x has they basically come out with um they've they've got a couple things going on right they got the x swap going on they have an exchange they've had that for a while that's that's different. None of the other platforms have that. And they also are now on Ethereum, which is also very, very good. And part of the Ethereum dividends are going to be dropped into this lobby over here. 
about 10%, I believe, are dropping in this lobby over here. And that may be what's adding to this, which is good because it kind of breeds some life back over here into T2X a little bit as well. Now, I don't love it. Like, I don't love that idea. It's like, okay, great. Just recreate essentially the same thing on a different blockchain. And then this is supposed to be decentralized finance, but we're going to manually take some of the profits that the developers earn over there and we're going to manually deposit in this lobby that's the exact opposite of anything relately remotely related to decentralized finance but that's okay the positive side is it, it feeds it it, get, it keeps us going a little longer it feeds life over here and we'll see what else the de developers develop in the future now dsp is doing something very interesting dsp has been critiqued for just being a clone a straight clone a straight clone but the developers look like they may have some plans that are going to be unique we'll have to wait and see what becomes of it but look this came out in telegram we're currently in test phase of our, of our new platform once we hash out the bugs we're going to start ramping up community testing before we go to mainnet test cycles take a period of two to three weeks oh and once this is complete and operational we're coming after you ethereum you might want to pull up a chair and stay with us a bit Summary, next DAP launching will, ha will not have any of the disadvantage of the current one, which people have mentioned. So we've taken on board community feedback as well as we are community driven platform. 3% drip from the new DAP will also feed the current platform as well. So it's the same thing. 3% from this DAP is going to come over here into this auction lobby. The crazy thing is anytime I see this right here, just so you know, those of you that are new to this space, our next DAP launching will not have any of the disadvantages of the current one which basically means it's going to have a whole new set of disadvantages <laughs> that's how it works nothing is 100 percent positive and, and i don't know what they're talking about maybe they're talking about the long staking feature who knows what they're talking about um, but they're going to attempt to a lot of times richard hart talks about something with hex and he says hex has been through an economic audit and a game theory audit on top of a smart contract audit and i think that was really smart because an economic audit means, hey, the economics make sense, that it's going to create economic cycles. It's not just going to have a, a lifespan like this where it just kind of dies out. I mean, if you watch coming back all the way back here, if you just watch it, wait a minute, this is, yeah, this is DSP. If you watch it and you'll see it was, you know, 14 million, 15, 17, 15, 15, 14, 14, and then just went down basically all the way down to recently. 14, 10, 11, 10, 8. The trend is just down, 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 down. And quite honestly, this is awesome. But economically, the trend is it just goes down. I mean, that that's the trend. That's how that's the effect. People basically it's going to take longer and longer to get your investment back or any profit. And you're like, hey, I'm tired of waiting. So I stopped going into the auction lobby. That's normal. It's amazing. I've seen this comment several times. I don't know why more people aren't going into the lobby because there's no advantages. They don't want to wait three months, four months, five months, six months, possibly to get the return on their investment. I mean, if you, if you stay in this range right here, it might take you five or six months if it stayed consistent. But if it's going to drop down here, now you're talking about taking six, eight, nine months to get your investment back. People don't want to do that. That's why people aren't going in. They don't want to wait that long. That's why. Particularly when back here, people are getting RO. When it stayed this high, you know, 15, 15. Basically, let's just assume all this averaged out to about 15 million per day. I mean, you were seeing ROIs within two, three, four days. It was ridiculous ridiculous um absolutely unreal so we'll have to have to see what happens here they've created this new the one of the things that someone said let's see um oh economic audit that's what i was talking about game theory audit so th this is kind of an economic audit the other thing is a game theory audit game theory audit basically says you know are people willing to are people willing to make an illogical decision for an emotional gain basically and a, a, an example of this is if you go into a casino, you know, when you sit down at that table, logically, the house has a ad mathematical advantage against you. But emotionally, you don't care because you're looking for that short term win. That's essentially game theory. And game theory is how do you get people to make illogical, irrational decisions in the short term? That's ideally what game theory is. Um, there's a lot more to that than that. That's just a simple explanation of it. So interestingly enough, this is a little bit of game theory. They don't actually have anything out yet, but an announcement. So it's causing people to jump into something that is currently unproven, right? But they're hoping that it's going to be proven, obviously. So that you could call it speculation. You could call it 
you know, investing, call it what you want, but we'll have to see where it ultimately goes. They've got some more announcements. Let's keep going. Um, DSPU also has an internal exchange in development and will continue to function on the blockchain as designed. That's going to be interesting. Uh, T2X already has that, but they may have their own version. We'll have to see. They're saying it's going to function on the blockchain. We'll see. This is just the beginning, and we have a suite of dApps launching, each designed to be self-sustaining. We'll also be expanding our ecosystem to the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, we already knew that much. This is going to be interesting. I'm glad I'm along for the ride. I'm glad I've got stakes in this because, you know, you, you never know what they're going to turn up. It could be super, super, super cool. When they say self-sustaining, I hope they mean more than this because this was never going to be self-sustaining all by itself. So we'll see what they mean. Oh, interesting. We're coming up on day 30. Okay, we'll, we'll see what they mean when they say self-sustaining. This has already been, okay. So that's the news and updates on uh, DSP and GXY. They just got a community pushing it. Interestingly enough, I'm way behind D, uh, GXY. Here's what happens with these platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, watching this, if you've seen these platforms, even with E2X, here's what you need to watch out for. People get excited. Now learn people learn. No, you got to come in early. You can't wait. And GXY, basically, that's what happened. Everybody shot in on day one, basically. 20 million. Boom. 715. People realized, hey, get in hard and fast. Don't come in over three, four, five, six, seven days. Don't, don't like dollar cost average in. Go in hard and fast that first or second day because you can ROI historically with DSP and T2X. People were ROIing in two or three, four days later. So people went in really hard and then they didn't go in anymore. Myself included. I did like 17,000 Tron and did like a, when I saw a seven here, I thought, oh, that's interesting. There might be some life here. And I jumped in early on a thousand here and it never went anywhere. So that's, you know, 18,000. I think I've made 3,500 back. That was a big fat loss at this point. But we'll see what the community can do. There's going to have to be a developer to really drive this forward. Um, I don't know why the community would get excited or get behind this, to be honest with you. But, hey, we'll see what they can do. All right. Let's move away from these platforms. By the way, T2X, big shout out to T2X. 843,000 in the lobby. Let's move along because I got some big stuff I'm talking about. I got a project that I'm going to be talking about a little bit later in this video that I think I've decided I'm going to push that baby to 100, 100 US dollars, 100 dollars a day in crypto. We're going to be talking about that soon. So coming up next, I haven't talked about crypto tab in a while. I still use the crypto tab browser all the time. Some of the most popular videos on my channel are about the crypto tab browser. I absolutely love this browser. I'm earning over $10 a week just essentially surfing the internet with a really crappy computer. Um, and I've built out my mining network and that's super awesome as well. If you want to learn how to build out your mining network, when you subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter down in the description, when you subscribe to that newsletter, you'll see a video that's going to tell you about some unannounced bonuses you get for subscribing. There's three bonuses that everybody gets once they subscribe. And then it's going to talk to you about actually building a business in the cryptocurrency space, advertising and growing an affiliate based business in crypto. It's talking about growing out a mining network in crypto tab. Super awesome. Love this, love this, love this. I want to put more focus on this. I always, if you understand my crypto passive profit strategy, if you've seen my overall strategy, you know that all of my profits essentially start trickling down advertising and promoting the crypto tab browser and our course, actually. The advantage to those of you building out your crypto mining network, you don't have to worry about building out a course. One of the disadvantages to doing the course is to create course content. I'm showing you where to advertise. Well, I've got an update coming out and I will tell you, last month where I was advertising ended up being complete garbage. Whereas what one of the things that I teach in the course is once you find something that's working, just keep advertising there. Do not stop. Keep advertising. Keep advertising. Well, for my course content, for those of you that are, are part of that, there's about 42 people there right now, um, our monthly membership. I'm telling you exactly where I'm advertising. And I'm always testing out new places to advertise to create content so you'll know because not everyone we can't all advertise in the exact same place but that's a disadvantage to me it's okay but it is a disadvantage to me so that's one advantage that you have if you're just in the course when i find a place and i tell you hey advertise here or i give you several places to test out when you test out a place and it's working you just keep advertising week after week after week all right let's move along quick update on moon day this thing has done really well for me i've rolled i've, I've rolled until i got 3.2 I did a whole video on Moon Day. I'm not going to recap it here. Um, it's been really, really interesting. It's got a small but very loyal community. The price has been dropping on the token, though. 
but it's been good to us. It's down to 540 right now. I mean, it went up, I mean, at the highest, I think it went over here to like 2,500 or 2,200 or something crazy. It went up to like 1,200 here. The thing is, it's a deflationary token and it deflates fast and it's a super limited supply. There were only, I don't know, probably 1,500 tokens or something right now. Some crazy low number of tokens uh, left. And so the, it has the ability to really pump quick. So I haven't totally sold out of it. I've sold some for profits all the way down every few days. Um, but I'm gonna I'm holding some right now and I'm just gonna probably, I don't know, I'm gonna hold a little longer. I may, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I've been rolling and, and, and selling, rolling and selling to see what happens, but I don't wanna totally sell out of it. I wanna see what this develop, de developer does. I wanna see what this team does. Anytime you have a team that's excited about something, you, you never know what could happen. You, you literally never know what could happen. This may be the calm before the storm. We'll have to wait and see. I know the developer has, I think, two new dApps right now in development for Moon Day. So we'll just have to wait and see exactly where that goes. So I'll probably be rolling these later tonight. All right. Next up, this one is huge. Bet Fury. So I think I've decided, I've got a whole separate video coming out on Bet Fury. Um, I think I've decided I'm going to push Bet Fury. In fact, my next video coming up later tonight is going to be on Bet Fury. I think I'm going to push this thing to about $100 a day. I was doing some math on compounding and what it would take to get there. And I'm already doing, look, I've got, I'm up to 106,000. And I'm already getting roughly $10 a day in cryptocurrency on this thing. And I would need to get to about 1 million tokens. And I, I've, I've been, I've mentioned on this channel several times that I'm going to, I'm considering doing that. I'm basically considering, you know, coming in with, somewhere between 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin essentially is what I'm thinking about. It's just a matter of moving it around. I've got it tied up in other investments and do I want to sell some of my bags to do this? Is That's what I'm thinking about. I'm not going to sell Bitcoin, but some of my other altcoin bags that I just hold on to minor projects that I just hold on to. And, and some of them are in profit and it's just a matter of do I want to sell part of that or do I want to drop some of my weaker bags and, and, and the challenge is right now I don't want to sell anything because I think that we could potentially be heading into a bullish market for the altcoins in the next six to 12 months. I mean, that's possible. So I hate to sell anything right now. That's a challenge, but I'm doing really close to 0.5% per day uh, on my investment here at BetFury. Not, I don't use Bet, BetFury as a gaming platform. I don't use it for gaming, just investing, but I'm doing about 0.5% per day. So, so, just round numbers. This is roughly two thousand dollar right here, uh, worth of tokens that I've mined using the mogul method. And th this two thousand dollars worth of tokens is getting me roughly ten dollars a day, right now. That's unbelievable, unbelievable. So if I get this thing to a million tokens, which will take me one year or less, I'll show you the math on that a little bit later. Be sure to subscribe. I'll, I'll do a full video, show you the math, show you what I'm planning to do. It'll be a shorter video, and I'll just break everything down for you. But there, there, it's crazy not to, I mean, there's risk involved, obviously, because I can't, you know, this is a totally centralized system. And this is, a, none of this is investing in advice for you. This video is all about me and what I'm doing. But the, it, it, it could be interesting. And I could limit some of my risk if I go ahead and just push really fast, really hard now. And if I'm starting to able to start pulling out, you know, $100 a day in the next six to 12 months, at that point, and it very well, it could be quicker than 12 months. But by that point, you're, you're just recouping every single day. And it's not a matter of, I think, um, another probably $2,000 worth of tokens. I was doing some math earlier. I think another $2,000 worth of tokens. If I compound every day for a year, I should get to a million tokens. And there's no guarantee what we're going to be earning. Then it depends on the price of Bitcoin. Do we hit a bull market? Does Bitcoin go to 20 or 30,000? 25,000, how much volume they're bringing in every day as a business, how successful they are as a gaming platform. So there's a lot of things to consider. There's no guarantee, obviously. In fact, there's none. But this platform has been so consistent. And you know, this is something I should have done a lot sooner, probably. So I'm really thinking about pushing this one really, really hard. I'll put a link in the description, by the way, for Bet Fury as well. It's an affiliate link, so you'll be supporting this platform. But stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon. I'm, I'm going to do a full video on BetFury. Also, I'm going to be doing another video probably tomorrow. I'm going to be covering a brand new project in the crypto space. I just want to make sure I mention that. It's not so much a passive income project. It's really just an interesting project that I'm watching to see what they're going to do. I do think there's going to be a way to be able to 
arbitrage this project and make some money on it. And if you want to know more about that, just be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification icon. I'm going to be talking about that. And it's not, again, it's not as much of a passive project. It's just a, a, a unique method, a unique project that's coming out that we could hold it. It could be a bit of a kind of like a S&P 500 index fund of all the coin market cap cryptocurrency. Um, but it also offers some unique trading opportunities as well that, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be talking about that next. And by the way, if you want to be able to earn a passive income with cryptocurrency, if you want to follow me on this journey, of course you can subscribe. But if you want to have your own journey, then I recommend that you don't just invest in, in platforms uh, I'm or businesses. I recommend that you start creating your own business. Start learning how to become an affiliate for cryptocurrency projects and companies and websites. You know, just like right here, almost all of these you're able to earn passive income streams with, but they also pay me an affiliate commission. And these are all companies that I use, but they also pay me an affiliate commission to when people sign up and, and w for those websites. And I, in, in the newsletter, I go through complete tutorials of each website, how to use it. They're simple, they're passive, they're low risk, they don't cost anything. And if you want to learn how to build out a true passive income, how to grow out a mining network, for example, for with the CryptoTab browser, you know, 49,000 people closing in on 50,000 in my mining network. You want to learn how to be able to do that. Then I highly recommend that you go down to the description and subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter. Right now, at this moment, there's 42 of us in here. It's $9.99 per month. That price is not going to stay there. I am redoing this, hosting it on a different platform. When I get that completed, it will be $29.99 a month at that point. So I recommend that you get in now. I just got a question. In fact, I get this question periodically. It said, hey, if we come in at $9.99, are you going to raise our price suddenly to $29.99? No, if you come in at $9.99, I'm hosting it on a different platform. So I, I, I don't know yet exactly how their billing works, but my plan is not to suddenly raise the price on you. My plan is to preserve this price for the people that are in early. Just like when I launched my book, all of my subscribers who were in here got my book for one dollar. So I, I tend to I want to be able to save that. I want to be able to to protect my early subscribers, those who are with me from the very beginning. So I'm not planning to raise the price. So if you want to lock in, you know, the monthly fee or the monthly price at nine dollars and ninety nine cents a month, go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna learn how to start building your own passive income with cryptocurrency where you're earning every single day every single week in fact literally every 10 minutes but go ahead and do it now because we will be raising the price to 29.99 per month hey thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching i've got another video coming up i'm going to be talking about bet fury taking it to a hundred dollars a day what my plan is on that so I, know, I know there are people that take it to a thousand dollars a day but we'll just have to wait and see what happens i'm going to cover my risk in doing it i'm going to cover my exact strategy and what's made me consider doing this more than anything else there's one one thing that has made me decide okay i need to just go for this all out massive action right now hey thank you so much for watching again if you haven't done so smash that like button ladies and gentlemen crypto equals freedom this is crypto wealth i'm out